Australian serial killer, Peter Dupas, known as the Melbourne Ripper, born July 6, 1953. Number of victims, three known victims. The murder of Nicole Patterson. Nicole Amanda Patterson was a 28-year-old psychotherapist. Patterson had chosen to operate her own private practice. Patterson was using her own house as an office and she placed several classified ads in the local newspaper. It was March 19, 1999. Nicole Patterson was taking on a new client with the name Malcolm. Patterson had made a note in her personal diary with the name Malcolm and a telephone number alongside. This is how police later linked Dupas to the crime. Patterson died from 27 stab wounds to her back and to her chest. Her body was discovered naked from the waist down. Her skirt was nearby in a bedroom and her underwear was around her ankles. Small pieces of yellow PVC tape were attached to her body and both of her breasts had been removed using a sharp knife. Her breasts have never been found to this day. The murder of Margaret May here. Margaret Josephine May here, 40 years old. She was last seen alive at a grocery store. Her, her body was discovered underneath some boxes. A black woolen glove was found near Mayhew's body, which police later confirmed contained DNA matching that of Dupas. Mayhew had suffered stab wound to the left wrist, bruising to her neck, blunt force trauma to the area of her right eyebrow, lacerations to her right arm. Mayhew's left breast had been removed and placed in her mouth. The murder of Messina Helvegas. Messina Helvegas was a 25-year-old Melbourne woman murdered in an attack on November 1, 1997. At the time, Helvegas was visiting her grandmother's grave in a Greek Orthodox section of the Faulkner Cemetery. Helvegas' body was discovered at 4.35 a.m. on November 5 by Helvegas' fiance in an empty plot, three graves from where her grandmother was buried. Police believe Helvegas was attacked from behind while kneeling to attend a flower arrangement. She died from massive injuries, including 87 stab wounds about her knees, but most of the wounds were concentrated around her breasts. Her upper clothing had been pulled over her head towards her chest. Dupas's home was within the vicinity of the cemetery. Two witnesses came forward and said they saw Dupas leave the cemetery the day of the murder. There are at least three other murders which police believe may have been the work of Peter Dupas. Dupas is currently serving three life sentences, sentenced to life imprisonment with no possibility of parole on August 22, 2000, sentenced to a second term of life imprisonment on August 16, 2004, and was also sentenced to a third life sentence with no minimum term on August 17, 2007. Mm -hmm.